Measurement, lesson two, measuring lengths in centimeters or meters. Hello, I'm Mrs. Schneider, and today we are learning how to measure using centimeters and meters. Let's remember, there are 100 centimeters in one meter. This is what a centimeter looks like on a ruler. Remember, a ruler has 30 centimeters. And on a meter stick, there are 100 centimeters. 100 centimeters in one meter. Your pinky finger is about a centimeter wide. See, if you put your pinky on the ruler, it'll be about one centimeter wide. This chair is about a meter tall. This is a meter stick, and this is my dining room chair. You see how it's about a meter tall? Meters are big, centimeters are small. Let's practice. When I say meter, open your arms out to your sides, like this. When I say centimeter, show me your pinky. Ready? Meter. Centimeter. Meter. Centimeter. Now let's practice another way. When I say meter, you say big. When I say centimeter, you say small. Are you ready? Meter. Big. Centimeter. Small. Meter. Big. Centimeter. Small. Meter. Big. Centimeter. Small. Remember the meter is big and the centimeter is small. A centimeter is about the width of your pencil. Hmm, let's look at this word. What word do we see right here? Cent. Cent. Hmm, where have we seen that word before? Hmm. There are 100 cents in one dollar just like there are 100 centimeters in one meter. In real life, which objects are shorter than a centimeter ruler? So think about that. Think about a ruler and in real life, not on the picture on here, in real life, which objects are smaller than a ruler? Hmm. Very good. A pencil is smaller than a ruler. A game controller is smaller than a ruler. And a cell phone is smaller than a ruler. You couldn't measure a building with a ruler. You couldn't measure a Christmas tree with a ruler. And you definitely couldn't measure the giant stadium with a ruler. Well, you could. It would just take a very long time. How to measure. So first you're going to line your ruler up with the edge of the object that you're measuring. And you have to be careful because some rulers have blank space on the ends. So make sure to measure up where the line for the zero, this one doesn't show a zero, but this is the line with the zero. Line it up with the line, not the edge of the ruler. If you line it up with the edge of the ruler, then you'll get the wrong answer. Okay, so you're gonna line it up and then you go to the end of your object and you imagine a line straight down and that is the answer there. So this fork would be about 23 centimeters, which in real life would be a pretty humongous fork. How not to measure, look at this guy here. That's not how you measure. And look at this guy here trying to measure the TV. That is not a good way to measure either. Hmm, what's wrong with this picture? Think about it. What did they do wrong? Right, they did not line up the ruler with the object. Now while you could count the centimeters in between, to find the answer, 
This is not the best way to measure. We should line the ruler up with the object and then draw our line down to find out how many centimeters the fork is. Because this fork was not 26 centimeters, do you remember? It was 23 centimeters. But here we're three centimeters off. All right, let's look at this object. So in real life, what would I want to measure this door with? Would I want to use a ruler or a meter stick? Think about it. What would I want to use, a ruler or a meter stick? What do you think? Meter stick. A meter stick. Yes, I would want to use a meter stick. How many meters wide is the door? What do you think? About how many meters wide is the door? One. It is about one meter wide. Yes, you see the meter down here? In real life, a door is about one meter wide. Hmm, what should I measure this long bookcase with? A ruler or a meter? Meter stick. A meter stick, yes. How many meters wide is the bookcase? Two meters. About two meters. Good. What should I measure with? What should I measure this pencil with? A ruler or a meter stick? Ruler. A ruler, yes. Okay, how many centimeters long is the pencil? Let's think about it. Okay, we line the pencil up with our ruler. So about how many centimeters is it? Think about it. Okay, what is it? 16. Right, this pencil is about 16 centimeters long. Very good. All right, what should I measure this eraser with? A ruler or a meter stick? Ruler. A ruler. Good. And let's look at this eraser. How many centimeters long is the eraser? Hmm. Eight. Yes, this eraser is about eight centimeters long. All right, in real life, what should I measure my big classroom whiteboard with? A ruler or a meter stick? A meter stick. A meter stick, yes. Because the whiteboard is big, right? We measure big objects with meter sticks and small objects with rulers. How many meters long is the whiteboard? About how many meters long? Let's think about it. You can look at the picture to help you out here. About how many meters long is the whiteboard? Three. Yes, the whiteboard is about three meters long. What should I measure my phone with? A ruler or a meter stick? Think about it. A phone is a small object, so we should measure it with a ruler. Yes, a ruler. Very good. How many centimeters tall is the phone? Let's look at the phone here. And about how many centimeters tall is it? 14. Yes, the phone is about 14 centimeters tall. Would you measure the length of a bus with a centimeter ruler or a meter stick? Why? Use this sentence frame to answer, but think about it first. The sentence frame is, I would measure the length of a bus with a blank, a ruler or meter stick because this is a good time to pause and discuss. What would you measure the length of the bus with? Okay, what would you measure the length of the bus with? A meter stick. Okay, can we use the sentence frame? 
I would measure the length of a bus with a meter stick because it is a big object. Good job. Yes, this is a big object, so we're going to measure it with a meter stick. Your friend says the length of a car in real life is four. Does your friend mean four centimeters or four meters? This would be a good time to pause the video and discuss. Okay, what do you think? Do you think that it is four centimeters or four meters? Well, let's think about that. Remember, a centimeter is about as wide as your pinky. Do we think that the car is four pinkies? Or do we think the car is four times having your arms stretched out? Meters. Yes, the friend meant four meters. Bigger objects are measured with meters. And here you can see the meter sticks. Your friend says the length of a shoe in real life is about 12. Does your friend mean 12 centimeters or meters? Now would be a good time to pause and discuss. What do you think? Does your friend mean 12 centimeters or 12 meters? Centimeters. Yes, centimeters. Smaller objects are measured in centimeters. Now this would be a pretty small shoe. It would probably be a little baby shoe. Meter or centimeter. We're gonna fill in the blank with the word either meter or centimeter. A window is about two blank long. Do you think it's about two meters long or two centimeters long? A window is about two meters long. Yes, it's about two meters long. Very good. Meter or centimeter. A finger is about eight blank long. A finger is about eight centimeters long. Very good. It's about eight centimeters long. You should use your ruler to check if your finger is eight centimeters long. Okay, this is a big object in real life. Meter or centimeter. An airplane is about 20 blank long. An airplane is about 20 meters long. Very good. An airplane is about 20 meters long. Let's estimate. Wait, what does estimate mean? Estimate means make a guess based on what you know. Estimate centimeters. When you estimate centimeters, you guess the length based on the length of a centimeter. How many centimeters do you estimate the rectangle to be? Let's use what we know here. And we're gonna use the sentence frame to answer. So here you see a pinky, and we're trying to figure out how many centimeters we think this rectangle is. I estimate the rectangle to be about two centimeters. I think that because you can fit two pinky fingers in the rectangle. Very good. And we know that the width of one pinky is about one centimeter. So if we can fit two pinkies, then we know that that's about two centimeters long. Very good. If road number one, here's road number one. If road number one is 20 meters long, how long do you estimate road number two to be? And here's road number two. Use the sentence frame to answer. Now would be a good time to pause and give an estimate. I estimate row number two to be about 10 meters. I think that because row number two is half as long as row number one, half of 20 is 10.
Very good. Yes, yeah, so if road number one is 20 meters, and we see that road number two is half as long, then we know that road number two is half of 20. So we can estimate that road number two is 10 meters. Very good. If the push pin is two centimeters, how long do you estimate the line to be? Think about it. Now would be a good time to pause and discuss. I estimate the line to be about 10 centimeters. I think that because I can fit about five push pins on the line. Very good. Yes, yeah, so if one push pin is two centimeters, and then we put another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, and that's it, then we can figure that the line is 10 centimeters because we can count by two. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten centimeters. Very good. Okay. What is the best estimate of the height of a traffic light? So think about that. There's cars that drive under the traffic light. Big, huge trucks drive under the traffic light. Hmm. Well, one meter is a little less than my arm stretched out, right? So here's a meter stick. Can a car drive underneath that meter stick? Can a car drive underneath there? No. No, so that's not tall enough for a traffic light, is it? It is not. No, so it's not one meter. Okay, 30 centimeters is the same as a ruler. Here's the ruler. Can a car drive underneath this height? No. Can a big truck drive under this height? No. No, so it's definitely not 30 centimeters. Five meters would be five meter sticks stacked on top of each other. One meter is a little more than three feet, so that would equal over 15 feet high. Yeah, that sounds about right, right? A big truck can fit under under 15 feet. Very good, so it would be five meters. All right guys, learning how to measure can be hard. Look at this guy, He's, he still doesn't know how to do it right. But the more you practice, the easier it will get. I know you can do it. You guys are doing awesome, better than this guy. So you keep it up, keep up the hard work, and it will get easier. Have a good day.